Dredge fishing is one of the best tactics that you can use to attract billfish or other pelagics into the spread. There's a lot of different options for dredges, but one of the other places you have a lot of options is weights and how to get that dredge down in the water column. The first thing that you need to consider when selecting the way that you're going to put your dredge down is this type of dredge, whether it's one of the lighter dredges, such as this strike point dredge, or a larger artificial dredge or natural dredge, such as this one. Um, when you're using one of the lighter strike point dredges, a great way to pull that dredge down is with one of these uh, man setups. So it starts with a three-way swivel, which attaches on one end to your main line. Below that, it goes down to your man swimming plug. And then above that, off the third eye on your three-way swivel, is a snap, which would attach, attach straight to the front of your lighter dredge, such as the strike point. From there, your other options are either the fish dredges or the cigar leads. Um, these are great for pulling your larger dredges down. One thing that you need to bring into consideration when determining what weight you want is the size of your dredge and the speed that you're going. Larger the dredge and faster the boat, heavier the weight you're going to need to pull it down. And what kind of fasteners? How are you att attaching this to your dredge line and then back into the dredge itself? Attaching them to the dredge line and to the dredges itself, use a corkscrew swivel. That eliminates having a moving part on your snap that could weaken up and possibly break. Right, and losing a dredge is never a fun experience. No, it's expensive it, and a lot of work to losing do. Losing a dredge is, dredge is not an option. Yeah.